Heavy Lift Helicopter Pioneer Command is advancing plans for a new unmanned production version of its K-Max rotorcraft. The company says the new model is set to meet demand for a variety of commercial and military missions that are not well suited to manned aircraft. An early prototype of the K-Max unmanned air system has already proven its worth in this regard, when it supported the U.S. Marine Corps in Afghanistan, resupplying troops with 4.5 million pounds of cargo over 33 months. What makes the K-Max an ideal air vehicle is really the readiness that's been demonstrated, right? So, so very rarely do you see a, an aircraft or a rotorcraft specifically with sustained readiness over 95%. So we have commercial operators uh, that, that have flown over 350,000 flight hours in some of the harshest environments and some of the missions that are, you know, dirty and dangerous, as they say. Command has been refining the aircraft first tested with the Marines and expects to be ready to begin flight testing of this new version by August 2020. The company says that the aircraft can be operated for less than $850 per hour and with a ratio of 1.4 maintenance man hours per flight hour. We like to say it's simple by design. So there's no tail rotor. Uh, you can see the, uh, the intermeshing rotor system. That's designed to maximize the lift, right? So all of those other systems and accessories pull power away, you know, uh, from their real mission, which in our case is external lift, and the hook underneath is mounted on a trolley. You know, the aircraft was originally designed for logging in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Charlie Command, you know, envisioned this. Uh, put it into production, and it was highly successful in that role. And since then, it has sort of expanded out into several other type, you know, infrastructure, construction, humanitarian assistance. We have operators that have done that down in Puerto Rico, uh, other parts of the U.S. Uh, we have operators in Japan, uh, operators in China for firefighting. We have operators in Europe, uh, and they use them for all these, these different sort of logistics functions. Two commercial operators have committed to using the aircraft. One of these companies is Swanson Group Aviation, and its management team was previously involved with the Afghanistan deployment with the Marines, where it is estimated that at least 48 lives were saved. There was a lot of pressure on us to get the vehicle ready for deployment because, simply, we're losing lives in Afghanistan because of all the ground convoys. They wanted to see if such a concept where we could supply uh, forward bases by air at night could take vehicles off the road. Unfortunately, the Marines who were there in Afghanistan did not believe in the concept. It was such a new idea, they said, this is never gonna work. So for the first six weeks or so, we actually carried dummy loads to prove that we were reliable and we were consistent in delivering to the Ford bases at least six days a week, delivering supplies downrange. Then the Marines decided that, yeah, we'll give them a shot, and they started to give us real cargo to take downrange. So the original requirement was we had to be able to deliver 6,000 pounds in a night. It was a very uh, short period where we started to deliver 30,000 pounds a night. Now he's looking forward to the K-Max earning its living in civilian life. We'll be among the first operators of the unmanned K-Max in the entire world where we can move four to 6,000 pounds in any type of weather, day and night. Uh, it may not have a, a tactical application like we have with the Marines, but there's oil and gas industry applications. There are firefighting applications because right now the aerial firefighters don't work at night. It's not safe enough, but with unmanned KMX, we'll be able to do that. Those are two industries right there that could really benefit from an unmanned platform with this capability. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.